This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the awesome cast uh, here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. Just, uh, just, just having fun with technology is what we're doing. Uh, I got with me the crew. First of all, from Big Bank International Esquire. He is the gadget guru over there. He is John Chichilla. How's it going? I feel like I can point up, and it's. It's probably Krause above no, me. No, it's not. It's not your full screen no. right now, actually. Oh. <laughs> We're playing with some new toys. If you want to join us on Patreon um, or if you, you joined us on the live feed, um, we, we we were showing off our our um, stacks of phones and we were playing with the new Google Mute Meet because that's what we're using now for this and, and getting a little extra looks like getting a little extra quality out of it. Also with us is Katie Dudas, the daughters. Hi. I have a Godzilla. Are you <laughs> Wait, there's a Godzilla in Animal Crossing? Wait, I don't... I'll see if you can... I don't know if you can... Oh, I could probably turn around. Okay. If I, he breathes fire. Is he he gonna... makes a dramatic noise and then oh, breathes fire. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, man. So welcome to my island. I'm also dressed like a Power Ranger. Do, do you have that up as display, or, or is that just you are taking a break from uh, Animal Crossing for the show? I'm taking a break. <laughs> I went, well, I, oh, I wanted to show you my Godzilla. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that makes sense. Um, now the now the menagerie is complete between uh, Boba Fett, the uh, Adat um, down there. I think it's behind the logo actually, um, and and now Godzilla. <laughs> so also back with us is another gadget gadget head gadget head over at uh, Big Bank International is Crazy Krause back with us. Ron Krause, how you doing? Or pick a phone. Oh phone. no, I got jeez. <laughs> It'd be funny if he was like 52 card pickup and just threw them all up in the air. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even need these. Ah. Yeah. No, we were, I was showing off also on gold. I was showing off the, um, some of the older phones that I have lying around here that I've re re I wiped them and they're they're They have some new tasks here in the studio so we can keep an eye on multiple chat rooms. And, uh, and, and, and then everybody's like, Oh, look at my stack of phones. I'm like, okay, that's nice. That's nice guys. That's nice. You collect them, and then and then we learn something about about the archive with Chilla. But we'll leave that for you guys on Patreon. In the meantime, how do we get there? Hey, let's go through the through. Let's go through the steps here. You can check out everything at awesomecast.com. You subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, um, all the all the podcast places, and of course, video versions on the Facebook and YouTube page. Uh, you can also and follow us on Instagram. We put in a lot of clips over there uh, as well through the week, um, including Dutters being a better Facebook group commercial than Facebook. <laughs> uh, apparently uh last week so um and i actually and i dove in and I, I tried to find some new um groups off of that suggestion too actually and i found a lot of bad ones um because facebook mm-hmm. uh but anyways you can also drop us a line where you can tweet us at at awesome cast you can hit us up on the facebook page for awesome cast the a facebook group for awesome cast where a lot of great discussion is happening there hi mom in the chat room uh and also uh you you can uh check us out here live every tuesday at 7 p.m eastern uh more or less we'll be live streaming you guys can drop in the chat room um we are spreading the love through a lot of the other chat rooms but of course the main place where a lot of people are hanging out including my mom is over on the facebook page but we also are on periscope youtube and the sorgatron media twitch page as well so whatever works for you to uh, check out the show because you know what we know not everybody not everybody does the facebook and that's fine and we want to make sure that we're taking care of you too uh also thank you to our audio partners our friends at the 405 media.com they're still streaming us every weekday at noon eastern time and our friends at post industrial audio postindustrial.com and who have been uh, when they have a kickstarter going on right now to help with their coronavirus um coverage um they, they they're mainly a rust belt magazine uh, and have some great podcasting initiatives they have been, they've been doing over there. Um, but they they of course with everything kind of pivoted a little bit and trying to do a comprehensive 
um, Rust Belt uh, coronavirus coverage situation. So go check that out. Go to postindustrial.com. Uh, to find out more information on what's going on over there. Thank you. Like I mentioned, our Patreon supporters at patreon.com slash awesomecast and your friend, our friends over at the Coffee Club are going to get some uh, of that extra content of us playing with phones and saying naughty words on Google Meet uh, to see how the closed captioning worked. Um, thank you to our friends over there, Matt Weller, John DeGore, and John Carmen. And also thank you, as always, to our fan of the show, friends uh michael fedor uh katie's favorite fedor and pghmuseums.org pghmuseums.org by the way um also has some great there's um coronavirus conversations um that i think premiered this morning you can check out there and uh there was a video a day in the life of uh of brian crawford (laughs) which included him editing some footage of me and some of my footage. And that was kind of interesting. It's very, um, it's very reality show edited. Um, it was just kind of fun. So you want to go see what Brian's up to, uh, you know, right down the road here, by the way, uh, go, go check that out. Uh, so thank you everybody. You guys can support the show at patreon.com slash awesome cast and help us keep things rolling here at Sorgatron media, uh, uh, through all of this. So let's get into our awesome things of the week. And since we were already um, checking out Godzilla and Animal Crossing, I guess that was one of your awesome things of the week, Katie. Yes. I have a real, I have another one though. Yes. I got a, we got a new lawnmower and it's rechargeable. Oh, it's not real. Uh, it's, uh, see now, okay. This is the second time this has happened because Chachi just tweeted the other day that he was, or was texting me that he went fishing over the weekend. Yeah. And, and every, every, like real activity i just imagine is happening in animal crossing <laughs> if i know no. you have it and you're talking about you got a real lawnmower real neon lawnmower by okay. ryobi okay mm-hmm. and it's it's a walk behind you know the push lawnmower mm-hmm. and we don't have a very big yard so the issue we kept running into year after year is we always either would have, we, we end up with a lot of excess gas for the lawnmower mm-hmm. and the upkeep of chain, you know, cause every year, even if you don't use it a lot, you got to drain it. You know, there's a lot, you know, maintenance wise for a gas push mower. Yeah. And um, one of my friends on Facebook had mentioned that they had gotten this and I researched it and everybody loves it. And the charge, it, it runs on. So it's, 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 it's similar to like, if you have tools, um, like if you have craftsmen, uh, Makita, like any of those, the batteries that you use in your tools, but it's Ryobi's battery Mm -hmm. and you just recharge it, plug that guy in and it goes for up to, I think 4,000 square feet on one charge. And it's got the mulching feature. It's got a bag, it's got a thrower um, and even has a headlight, which is pretty cool. (laughs) Oh, so when you're mowing at night. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is it's not loud. It's very quiet Mm -hmm. that you could either do it like late night or um, early in the morning and it wouldn't be an issue. You know what I mean? You have a little headlight and it's not like you have, you know, when you're panicking going, oh, it's, is it too early to cut grass? But it's cool out, you know, especially in the summertime that you can get away with cutting it with the electronic mower, mm-hmm. uh, rechargeable mower. And there's no cord to worry about running over. And it did a real good job with the lawn too. And it's, it's I think it's like 50 pounds. So it's, it's super lightweight. It's plastic. It's obviously plastic. So you kind of have to be a little bit more careful. There's not metal um the wheels are, are very lightweight everything's very lightweight but it folds up and you can sit it in the corner and do you have to put oil or anything in it because it's still a motor right it's just battery powered is there oil There's is there anything nothing, nothing. yeah it is I, just I, that battery i don't have to deal with anything with that with my i have a corded uh lawnmower mm-hmm. myself uh you know same issue like oh, the, this, is, this gas mower is maybe a little bit too much for what we're doing and upkeep again upkeep on them just kind of fell behind and uh, I think I ended up selling it to somebody. Um, but yeah, no, the, 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 this is great. This is great. Yeah, it was. It wasn't terribly expensive. I mean, once you consider how much you pay for gas every year and how much mm-hmm. you know for oil and filters and all that good stuff, it's it's definitely was reasonable. And it's like I said, it's very lightweight. You shove it in the corner, it mm-hmm. stands upright. It's neat. I gotta <laughs> say, I love how it folds up. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. I have a an electric mower also but I'm still using cords. Yeah. And I, it, I just, from that little video, Sorg, you were showing how it folds up and the handle collapses down. That's great. Cause I don't have a whole lot of space yeah. to store my mower. So that that's yeah. an awesome thing. I am still, I gotta say, I like this. I am still holding out for the, uh, the, the iRobot or I think they're the ones oh, that yeah. they like their mower. Cause I think the that's I lawn. <laughs> like, I really think like, I don't have that much lawn. I think I can get away with that. Right. 
um, mm-hmm. at least until like we are ideally hopefully clearing out some space in our side lot and maybe expanding that and that'll be a whole different story but for that general just just living space kind of thing it might be all i need so no but i, I like this. this is a good option too this ryobi um so that's great um so so you've been getting your mowing on this week huh yeah <laughs> i think you mow on in between snow and thunderstorms oh yeah no yeah seriously <laughs> Oh uh, boy, it was kind of scary editing shows late night last week. So, um, but anyways, you know what we need after that? Some good news. Kraus, what you got over here? So, not that John Krasinski needs any more attention because he's getting plenty of it, but I just love the idea of what he's doing. You know, everybody's kind of getting sick and tired of hearing about Corona all the time. So mm-hmm. he's he started this YouTube channel, probably because he was bored at home, just like everybody else is, and um, it's just it's just great. Uh, they've had three episodes. He's done three episodes so far, uh, and it's just like positive, good news. And um, so I just enjoyed it, and I thought maybe other people would enjoy it. So I, that's that was my thing of the week. I really love this, and I have been I have been for some reason addicted to watching watching like. Um, how Jimmy Fallon and Colbert and and Trevor Noah are kind of dealing with their shows, and I never regularly watched any of those. Uh, with yes. Daily Show, but it's always like, well, how are you dealing with this now that you don't have a million dollar, you know, studio to, studio. to, to deal yeah, with, right? right? Um, so and then this came up too, and it, it ran right into my 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 circulation. Uh, I've seen the first two episodes, and I showed a little bit. Of, um, I loved. And he's doing fun stuff where he's bringing somebody on and kind of helping them out. He had this, yep. this poor girl had uh, tickets to Hamilton in New York City, and I don't—I think she was in St. Louis or something, maybe—and um, had to cancel the plans because everything, you know, obviously with everything got shut down, and you know, you know how hard Hamilton tickets are to get. So he brings on the cast of Hamilton who performs. So and and is going to fly him out, fly her out as soon as all this gets back to normal. Uh, and we and they opened up Hamilton again. So which sinking why Sorg? How did they pull that off? I have a lot of questions. I'm I'm starting to pay a lot of attention to interviews, and and I haven't watched a whole bunch of the uh, SNL that apparently did some of this too this week. Yeah, uh, there are methods. I, I I believe what happens is I I know the band for is it Seth Meyers maybe or or Fallon. They try Fallon's band. Yeah, they they basically what they're doing in the for like for musicians like that is just playing their part. Wow. And they just do it in post is kind of more of what happens. I don't know if they did it live for this girl, screen captured everything post you know, because there's a lot of editing, you can tell, you know, when you watch through something like this, right? As they're going to that's not like, you know, what happens when these guys are talking on Google Meet for us or Google Hangout for us, right? That that is a right. You know, that is a conscious editing choice when they do it. Um, so so I think <laughs> these look a lot different live than post edited. <laughs> so yeah. there uh, there, I, there, I, there are some funny ones though, because I was watching I can't remember who it was. It wasn't Fallon, it wasn't Seth Meyers. It was. They did an interview with everybody from Modern Family because mm-hmm. it was like the farewell episode. Yeah, yeah. And they they had them all like it looked like it was FaceTime, mm-hmm. from what I could tell. And like Ed O'Neill's, I'm guessing it was his granddaughter was helping him throughout the, the episode. Oh wait, was that um, was that a, a recent one? Because there was one that they did almost. Entirely. It was last week. They did one years ago that was entirely. No, on yours, that was the episode. Yeah, this was the this was an interview oh, with wait, the wait. entire cast. It was like the cast reunion post special, right? Yeah. Okay. And it was funny because you could see like grandkids helping out different people <laughs> <laughs> with with how it worked. Which is really and what's then, happening. Yeah. Um, one of the actresses, her you could tell she had bad connections, so she kept freezing. Mm. Um. And there's obviously nothing you can do and post about that. So, no, well, no, um, I, unless you are doing something like we do, uh, we use something called Zencaster for our podcasting, and we were doing some fishing without bait um, last week, and and the connection kept dropping out. But I know the file is good because what we're doing is recording on each side, and then you can put that together afterwards. If I mm-hmm. set up something for all of you to record what's happening on your side, we would never have a connection problem in post, but just live like we do would be an issue. So. Yep. 
I mean, there are ways, there are ways to get around it and there are tools. And then there are better tools for the people that have money to do it. Like NBC. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, cause it, cause that yeah, is, but I can't imagine John Krasinski's got all kind of money to pull that. You know what I mean? I, well, he does have but, all kind no, of he's money. He's got money, but he's, does he have the time and does he have a buddy helping him or is he doing it himself? Right. But it, they showed the, they showed a pan out of his like at home studio mm-hmm. and it doesn't look like it's almost super over complex. I would agree. No, 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 it isn't. It's, it's an iPhone. It's very clearly an iPhone in most of these cases that we're seeing, but I'm starting to think as you go look like I'm watching like week one of Bill Maher to week two of Bill Maher is increasingly better, right? Like they're figuring right. this out and now everybody like every everybody worth their worth their stuff has a consultant to be like, how do I set this up or come over here and set this up so we can do this right? Um, you're seeing. Uh, I think Joe Biden when he was first starting the, doing the at home stuff, there were a lot of bumps in the road. But we're a month out and people have been doing this on a regular basis professionally. It, it's getting better, right? <laughs> so, I, I know a guy who took a thirty day iPhone challenge and switched from Android. Oh yeah, his name's Ron. Uh-huh. Guess what he's still using? <laughs> yes, I am. I'm still using it. <laughs> I'm still using it. I just don't have a reason to leave yet. Nope. Nope. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else we got here? Uh, Chilla, what is your awesome thing? It looks like you got some work from home uh, awesomeness going yeah, on. Yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start uh, probably every week covering some kind of how I made my life easier here at home. Because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, obviously, we're all stuck there. Mm-hmm. Um, so I needed, I, I had an old kind of laptop stand um, at work. I think I use a, an old box, um, but at home I had kind of a, a metal stand for my, for my um, laptop. What that allowed me to do was take one laptop, put it in place, hook up my wires. At the end of the work day, I'd take that laptop, put it off to the side, put my other laptop up. The problem was, is I have a surface. Um, which doesn't really stand yeah. up. It, it needs it needs kind of a good base to do that, right? <laughs> yeah, and I and the way my desk is set up, like I have a dock. If you look look at the the um, one that I have on Amazon, it kind of has that bend down, and there's that gap space. Mm. Um, that's where I actually have my dock, and I use the dock for a multitude of different laptops and operating systems. Um, so I needed something that could kind of give me a gap. The nice thing about this device is, and I don't know if they do a great job of showing it in one of the pictures, but I can tilt that top piece up um, to the point where it's almost at a 90 degree angle pointed upwards. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I don't want it up that high, both from a viewing perspective, but also I don't want my my tablet teetering off forward. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's super nice, and it's funny because I look at this and... I think I got it a little, it must've been on a special or something. So it was a little bit cheaper. I think I spent 40 bucks for that. And it's listed at about 56 now. Yeah, it's up to 56. And then I actually had one of the, I can't remember what the name of the company is. That's big on their, their Apple. They're like the, it's, uh, it's not techie. Um, one of the companies that Apple sells a bunch of stuff in their store mm-hmm. when their stores open. Um, I bought one of theirs and I think it was, I think I paid a hundred bucks for it. Yeah. Um, and it didn't move. It, that was a problem. I couldn't articulate it up, down, forward, whatever. Um, so this has come in super handy. I've used it now with my iPad, with my Surface, with a MacBook Pro, with my Dell laptop for work. Um, I can just pretty much take whatever I want, put it on there, hook up the connectors, and I'm off to the races. So I'm really enjoying this, and it's kind of completely changed I used to kind of have to balance certain devices because my desk isn't huge, um, but it's, it's definitely come in handy and well worth the price. The thing that surprised me, and I did a lot of of looking at different brands and different reviews. This one, I will say the hinges on it are super tight to the mm-hmm. point where like you really have to pull on it to move it up and down. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't, weaken ridiculously over time but um it it has a really nice tight hinge on it nice nice so go check it out that's the but how do you pronounce that again boyata Boyata? b-o-y-a-t excuse me b-o-y-a-t-a there you go 
go check that out. Um, and uh, so, so my awesome thing is, you know, again, I'm I'm taking a step back since you know I don't have a lot of events, so I have a little more time at home. So, so I'm exploring a little bit, and we've been doing some. We've been trying to do some more. Uh, video game things uh, for the pro wrestling and, and trying to do some streams Friday nights. We've been doing gaming streams here. We've done the, even done some Jackbox and some other nights of the week. And uh, so I've been exploring a lot, including like just, you know, freebies. I've played some of the freebie games on Epic Games that I've been like clicking the thing every week and getting into my library, you know, just like with the uh, games for gold over Xbox. But I finally jumped into, finally jumped into because of this, because I wanted to get a game that a lot of people could cross play and it was really easy to um check out what was going on with um game pass to, to get like rocket league so i can connect something in uh, you know i have it on pc but you know trying to you know figure out the best way to do it so i dropped the dollar Oop, that's the wrong thing uh, i dropped the dollar for game pass for like the first month that includes game pass for your xbox one pc games not that i have a beefy pc that's not already in the uh, studio but it's been actually kind of nice to dro- pull some um, um lower end games to my laptop at home um i this is nice and uh, you know i know your xboxer is mostly uh, uh, on here um so it, it's one one price it has like all the recent gear uh uh gears of war um halo master collection um master chief collection the the halo 5 which i just finished four a couple months ago so good timing and then i'm jumping into like just i'm loving just jumping into a lot of random games like bleed um bleed it all i think is the game Um, i'm so excited you're talking about this i finally jumped in shilla kraus and uh and i'm so happy i did I, i this um um journey to uh, the savage planet it's this weird cookie a uh, kooky like hey you've dropped on this planet go explore befriend or kill things and it's just a gorgeous looking game and real freaking weird you'll like go find these like weird creatures that are just farting or, <laughs> or something i, I it, there's a thing it, this spoiler alert at the beginning there's a thing where it's like hey let's make sure you're not crazy from the from the cryo sleep and you open, you pick your avatar. I'm like, which one of these are you? And I picked the dog just to be a jackass and see what would happen. And then halfway through playing the game, I'd run. And then I'm like, why am I panting like that? And then Missy goes, you picked the dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So I'm apparently a dog in this game now in the suit that you can't see. And the creature designs are awesome and weird and, and, and really goofy. I spent, I spent like probably about an hour with this game already. And again, just one of those that's that's inclusive in this thing. Um, it, it it rounds out to about fifteen dollars a month. Um, again, that's PC um, Xbox. So if you got a decent, okay PC that'll play some of the games, like you can drop your Gears of War on there and your Halo and and things like that, like anything like that. The the the, the Halo collection, for instance, is is cross platform. I think both the latest uh, Gears Four and Five are cross platform, and there's just a lot of other random stuff. There's this ape out game I was playing that. It's top down. It's like like six colors, and as you move, there's like jazz cymbals playing along with your movements. It's real weird, real awesome, and actually runs on my low end laptop. So um, that's been a lot of fun. So that was my kind of game discovery uh, for this week. Side note: also, I picked up on Stadia. It gave me a three month trial. I believe it's giving a month or two for just anybody right now as well, and that includes all of the pro features including the games of the month and so i've been jumping into some destiny 2 thanks to that uh and i that i kind of got the bug for playing that a little bit as well um so it's and it's again nice that you like netflix like this basically replaces our movie pass through amc since we don't have that right now (laughs) so (laughs) we're paying less for it and we're getting tons out of it so um so, so so that kind of replaced our entire entertainment um thing so and in, hey Sork, in, that 14 bucks a month also includes gold yes yes it does which that's that's like hmm. if you think about it because the gold by itself is 9.99 a month yeah or so, 60 dollars a year i think so yeah so mm-hmm. 14 14.99 a month mm-hmm. including gold that's that's uh, quite so for- I, that's quite a deal Fourteen ninety nine a month. What is it? Do they do they give you like a month free, 
or something they they give you a discount for buying a year up front uh yeah it, i think there is i think it, it's a different price like it gives you a month or two off probably so okay um no it, yeah and, and it, it even said i may not have to pay for it for i think i saw the next re- renewal date is like august because i had several months of gold left and i mm-hmm. think it factored that in too so 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 if you're on gold and, and are just paid for it like you'll get something out of it as well so um okay. so no it's it's worthwhile um if you've been yeah, sleeping I've been on it this a lot if you're uh somebody somebody had had um a really good case for this they said okay based on what you're paying for this if you play two games a year you paid for it you've paid for it because i'm yeah. thinking halo 5 when it came out was a 60 dollar game you know you know time you know divide you know fifteen dollars a month or whatever ten dollars a month if you're just doing that and it just works out you're you're getting a lot out of it the the only thing that would worry me is because of my game time Mm -hmm. like i don't have all that much to put it in perspective i just finished spider-man for ps4 Mm -hmm. about i think a month ago Mm -hmm. and i got it two christmases ago Leading edge is the game. So here's the here's the thing. So here, so yes, it roll games off. I, that, right? I'm, it, it, it it does roll games off. It just rolled off like four or five games, um, um, including the first Guacamelee, but the second one's in there, and they give you a discount on the game too. Um, okay, so if you want to buy it after it rolls yeah. off, you yeah. Okay. I made the mistake of buying Tekken Seven uh, three days before. I'm like, ah, oh, we'll do Game Pass. I'm like, oh wait, it's on here. Okay. <laughs> But it was like twelve bucks, so whatever. You know, mm-hmm. we're going to, we again are playing plenty out of it. It's got wrestling stuff in it, so so I'm I'm in. Um, no, so so there's I'm worried too about like Halo. I'm not worried about going away because it's a first party game. Yeah. You know, all the first party games, Minecraft, Halo, Gears of War, Sea of Thieves is all day and date. If it's coming from Xbox Studios, it's going to be day and date on that service. <laughs> like Halo that comes out in this supposedly this fall, Halo Six will be ready to go first day for me does does it include the minecraft realms pass do you know i do not know but i did download minecraft for the first time and played tag i think we talked about this last week hide and seek is where it's at yeah hide and seek that was it hide and seek yep. i don't know if i'll ever build anything on minecraft but i'm probably going back to play hide and seek now so that's a lot of fun anyways so a lot there Locked, uh, so I, I found my gaming my gaming trove to dive into but but like i was i was trying to say um like i if I'm playing something like a Halo and, and like you, it may take me, I might not get back to like, I still want to get back to a lot of my Assassin's Creed games. Right. Um, but being able to just pull up Rocket League and Bleeding Edge and just drop into some multiplayer there is really nice, you know, it, to experiment with things like that. Or, hey, let's see what weird new game I can we can find and, and play, because I like to just dip my toe in a lot of different things there. And a lot of classic games. Metal Gear is on, or not the Metal Gear, uh, Metal Slug, the SNK stuff, Art of Fighting, King of Fighting. Um, uh, uh, sh- sh- uh, was it uh, Shinobi Showdown? No. What's the uh, Samurai Showdown uh, was on there from SNK, like old Neo Geo stuff. So it, it's, a, it's a really cool mix. So uh, definitely recommend it if you're trying to figure out what you're doing and have an Xbox One. So. Um, or a really beefy PC, because again, uh, that's only five dollars a month if you're just doing PC, I believe. So, for, yeah. And if you don't have an Xbox One, Kraus, what's the going rate for the all-encompassing <laughs> kit? Where you get oh, like the, for the the console? Yeah. Oh God, yeah. Because it's not much more. It's it's not, no, it isn't. It's, it's like twenty twenty bucks a month or something, and you yeah. you get an Xbox. Listen, we've been and like, all of it. Missy's been playing so much Assassin's Creed. We've been considering that for a second Xbox. <laughs> We're just like ah, but I've been playing a lot of Nvidia G4. You know, but there's there's talk that when the Xbox One X comes out, they're going to also offer that. Mm-hmm. As, mm-hmm. As, so you get the console, the Game Pass, the Xbox Live all for Lacrosse, one price. But Kraus, I don't have a 4K TV, so what's the point? But there's there's talk that you that they'll put um, uh, what's their streaming X Cloud where it. Yeah, you'll so you could you'll be able to use XCloud on any phone, or oh, even they're talking about the Switch. If XCloud, if XCloud <clears> is out and I can play that on my PC streaming like I do in uh, GeForce right now, I'll be no pun intended on Cloud Nine with it. 
because my brother is on the beta and has been playing it. And I've been seeing it. I'm like, what are you playing over there? And he's like, everything. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, no, I did like from the looks of it, if it works half as good as what NVIDIA does right now, because again, Arkham Origins is gorgeous, right? Um, and I'm just like, I, I'm like, this was a 360 era game. You know, obviously, end of life. They have all the NVIDIA stuff on it. It's, it's amazing. But anyways, but we got a lot of other stuff to get to here because some of us have curfews in like 10 minutes. Holy crap. Uh, but 13. Anyways, 13. <laughs> We're a half hour in and we've just gotten through our awesome things. That's fine. That's fine. Well, I think Missy's trying to push us along based on the uh, chat. Oh, oh, is she? Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, one <laughs> thing's been podcast, ignoring her. podcast day and especially this quarantine even better. Our good friends at Slice on Bread, Broadway supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza here in Beachview, Carnegie. The East End PNC Park. If you're in the area, you could probably get some Slice on Broadway either directly or through something like Grubhub or Uber Eats. Go check them out. SliceOnBroadway.com. Thank you to them for supporting the show through their wonderful, wonderful pizza and being the crew uh, when we were allowed to have crews in here. Uh, so, <laughs> um, and thank you so much to those guys. All right, let's get into, first of all, shout out to our buddy um, that went fishing this week which is so off-brand, uh, <laughs> at least lately. Our buddy Chachi, he's still playing the, the video games, 1001 games over at thegamejourney.com. Uh, he is still going through. He's in the Pokemon world. He's finally there, guys. Uh, he's, he's covering the Ruby and Sapphire era and uh, Mario and Luigi. I, hey, that was one game I, I, I hopped into a couple weeks ago was Paper Mario. and That, was an, that is a delightful game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is an what's that on uh, uh, well i bought it for the wii in virtual console uh it's an n64 game originally and i was just okay. enjoying it on there so anyway so yeah check that out game the game journey.com also want to give a shout out to uh we had an awesome thing of the week from the chat room from steve from uh, uh bold pittsburgh sports who has been quite on hiatus um he had a buddy come over and they used social distancing on his porch and in the woods across the street uh and found uh, uh onions carrots leeks garlic mustard plants and mushrooms just foraging in the neighborhood again i don't entirely know if he's talking about animal crossing or real life <laughs> so so but either way good for you <laughs> we need to do a quiz we'll just say things and you guess animal crossing or real life <laughs> but there's a yeah, exactly it's like it's like a, there was a thing that popped up recently that was like is this a, a picture from pro wrestling or porn and it's just like animal crossing real life like it's got a yeah anyways uh also dave ponner shared this is some good news we know yeah apple always has those those uh 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 classes right the today at apple classes where you can learn how to use your ipad your garage band things like that uh so apparently he says that they've moved online so now you got a today at apple at home and actually when i click this this opens up in your uh, apple store app uh if you want to check it out so when you go in there look for the sessions tab at the bottom of the screen and uh it'll give you some options there um and 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 uh but it's all online sessions now so you're not missing out on learning things from this i don't know why it's temporarily gone right now <laughs> i guess we'll go i guess we'll go back to that link i guess um do, but, do they have any final cut stuff in there ooh, that- i wonder Oh, they got some stuff about photography on the iPhone. We got, sh- I, I think they're just rolling out bits yeah. here and there. So I think you just, I think you just drop in day to day and there's classes from the looks of things right now, but cool. it is under sessions. So how do I get it from sessions? Cause they have like a placeholder thing in my app. I'm on the iPad too. None of this is clickable and I don't know how to get to it other than the link that I was sent. So I guess um, uh, search out today at Apple at home. I'm sure you can probably get it through their website too. And uh, oh, so go, hit the back arrow on sessions. I did, and just popped into that. Uh, hey, we've suspended sessions page because that was oh. normally where you would go in and find out the schedule and, and, and I think log into it. Um, <laughs> yes, the woods across from your street from your house. Real life, not Animal Crossing. We got it. Okay, kind of clarification from Steve. Um, but no, thanks, Dave Podner, for uh, pointing that out as well. Um, Chilla, since you are kind of probably mostly on your way out the door here, you got a, you got a story uh, from this lineup you want to pick out real quick? Um, that you definitely want. You do. have a couple words on. I don't think I I, 
I apologize. I got so wrapped up in the new Google Meet that I did not put any <laughs> stories down below. That's your awesome thing for next week, right? That might be mine. Yes. Actually. So. Hey, before Chilla leaves, mm-hmm. um, to close that loop, it's called Xbox All Access. Okay. And it's twenty four ninety nine a month. You get an Xbox One X with a terabyte storage. Um, Xbox Live, Xbox um, Game Pass, basic all, everything that you was in that other one bundle. That includes so a, you add another ten bucks, essentially what ten bucks. Does that include the? Was, does that include the Ultimate Game Pass for PC? Um, yes, it looks like it awesome. does. I can't imagine why I wouldn't, but that's awesome. Yeah, Xbox One console, the the Game Pass, the multiplayer, and there's an upgrade option. So if you would <laughs> buy it now, mm-hmm. and then the the One X comes out, they are going to have an option for you to upgrade. I think it's supposed to be when they were first announcing it, you had to have so like maybe like six months of payments in or something too. So yeah, so. But, but but like you can do the One X, the one that One S is only twenty two ninety nine, mm-hmm. and then. The all digital one S, it's twenty bucks a month. That's wait, like wait. You're telling me if I pay five bucks a month more, I'll get the digital work version. You'll get the digital console, yeah, and Game Pass and every yeah for for so for five more bucks a month. <laughs> you the, can get the console house is too. like selling me on this right now. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Uh, Sorg's gonna have a house full of Sorg's gonna have as many Xboxes hey, as we do phones. Hey, you wanna <laughs> yeah. check out my Xbox collection? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean I But the thing is though, that I think that's truly the why would you spend the money up front when you could do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. I mean I mean unless you 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 you're you concerned about putting that up every month, but that's twenty bucks compared to what we play on other services. That's yeah. I mean, again, if you're making up for that movie pass, it's you're all right. So yeah. Anyways, uh, let's, so so this was brought up. Did I did I share this or did you, Missy, about sheets? Because Zoom backgrounds are all the rage, and I do need to get around yeah, to are. making the Sorgatron Media backgrounds. Sheets has the um, has sheets backgrounds, so you can <laughs> because because of course. <laughs> so, well, so Marvel's Agents of Shields put out. Um, Agents of Shields backgrounds. You Have can they? be like in the yeah. You can be in their conference room. You can be, I think, in the armory. Um, there's a number of like major names putting out Zoom backgrounds, and I know they're just teams, pictures, right? They're ju- they're yeah, just they're, they're they're just pictures. But I have heard some people starting to dabble in the animated backgrounds oh, to kind of no. make it look more real. Oh no! Do, do, do you know does meet support backgrounds i know teams does skype at least not, supports background i have blurring. not discovered it yet also you know you know how you know how i found out about google meet was uh i was kind of like oh there should be something else and there was just announced over the weekend that hangouts meet became google meet so i'm like wait what is all of this <laughs> and wait that's a g suite i think i have g suite <laughs> I I I I wonder if that's a part of it, and here we are right now. So and it's been pretty stable. It's been everybody everybody's image has been really great through this. I, I said I, I noticed Katie looks a lot better than usual, and Krauss's uh, camera is phenomenally clear. Oh yeah, it's yeah, it is definitely, and it's a cheap. It's a three a C three ten, so it's old. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a much it's, older hey, webcam. When and... you got good lighting and these looks, you, you, it helps out, right? Right, Kraus. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, see, geez, if that's all we need to do, I'm just going to take a picture of this background here. Um, I, I know we were studying the background because I don't know if you saw Matt Carlin's made a Lego version of the studio. And uh, in the st- it's, it's it was still, awesome. It's no, he's still in the works. He's building the rest <laughs> of the building. <laughs> so, um, keep an eye out for that. Uh, so, uh, what, what, what else we got here? Um, uh, How about uh, the ray tracing for Minecraft? I, I have s- one question. I, I saw this earlier, and it looks... You have to have a special... You have to have the NVIDIA card, right? Mm-hmm. Well, th- this is coming to the Xbox One X when it, when it releases. But my question is, until I know you and your son play, I play, Sorg's now playing... <laughs> Does this scene. ruin Minecraft? <laughs> you know, this Minecraft so looks far too good. 
exactly. But they did they did the the graphics update not too. I mean, like probably a year or two ago, and I mean it wasn't drastic. I mean, it's still eight mm-hmm. bit ish. Yeah, but this is like look at the before and it, sorry if you bring up that page. Yeah, I got there's it. like a place where you can slide the before and the after. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't. It's it's kind of incredible, but. At the same time, does it ruin Minecraft? But it's still jagged edge, isn't it? Or no? No, it's smooth. Like, look mm-hmm. at that. I mean, things are still blocky, but like the lighting effects on top of everything just makes it look gorgeous. Yeah. So I was just curious if it ruined Minecraft. I, I'm hoping it, it, this is something that maybe comes through because I was I was wondering on GeForce Now they have the Java version of Minecraft on there. <laughs> so uh, which is still super popular because like you can't do a lot of mm-hmm. I actually have been asked numerous times over the last two weeks to purchase the Java version. Dutters, what is Google Nest doing? Uh the I don't know if you guys have noticed this with uh, your Nest cameras, uh Chilla, but the quality of the video has gone down mm-hmm. to try to, you know. Conserve internet resources because everybody's on the internet all the time. <laughs> well, Google has been kind of spearheading. Aren't I, I noticed I noticed my my uh, YouTube videos defaulting to 480 now on my phone, um, mm-hmm. and even uh, even when we're using when I was installing this Hangout on the other Hangout, because all of these got updates today. Everything got updates today. Uh, there's notices about load capacity and, and quality may suffer. So so everybody's everybody. If anybody has a cloud service. They're probably feeling the pinch right now, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, the article mentions like Netflix was doing it too. Like everybody's trying to conserve it as much as possible because we're all using it at the same time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All those all those sheets zoom backgrounds are taking it up, yes. right? <laughs> <laughs> and our Animal Crossing backdrops. Apparently. Well, Disney, Disney yeah. Plus delayed their launch in France mm-hmm. to to try to help out. Um, and I've seen not just like the video services, but just the services across the board trying to help out as well as some of like the back end service providers like your AWS, Azure. Mm-hmm. Um, they're kind of trimming back like database indexing and, and things of that nature to try to also provide more resources to their real-time communications platform. So like maybe your G suite search, if you typed something in a Google doc, maybe it would take an extra couple minutes to show up in your, your, your search across like Google drive. So they could also apply more resources to things like meet. So it's interesting how the the providers are not just trying to conserve bandwidth, but trying to prioritize their back ends to, to service customers in need of communicating. It, it is. I mean, you know, Nest is kind of a passive thing, right? So, so it doesn't need that consistent bit to it. You know, it can still yep. get the job done. So interesting. Um, yeah. Are you ready for a smart toilet guys? Yeah, obviously. I know this story has been around. <laughs> so, and I, and I listened to a science podcast that got, got really dived into this a little bit. So this is a prototype. This is a, this could be functional by the end of the year, but I think, you know, of course, any timing that we're talking about is, is probably questionable at this point. Uh, this is being put together um, by researchers at Stanford University, and they, uh, it's a smart toilet that could identify you by your, quote, anal print. Uh, the idea is something like this will, um, you know, we th- you know, if you're going to the doctor and, and need to provide samples, if you will, this can actually do the job for you and do an analysis on your stream and you know, just okay, pee things, pee and poop things. Um, <laughs> but you it's also, stealing your DNA, right? Right. But you also, like, you also, you know, you don't want like Chilla to go sit down and find out, hey, you're you're pregnant or something like that, right? Uh, that would so, be really bad if I found that out. <laughs> that's a, that's a, the most the most prone place to to get new information, right? <laughs> so, um, so they 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 have an anal print, and there's a quote here about this, and because you didn't you didn't know this about your butt, did you? Um, the, the anus has thirty five or thirty seven creases, which are as unique as fingerprints. Okay, on the need to know scale, 
Yeah. That's way more than I need. Well, now you never know. That you you never know. <laughs> I'm so glad Professor Buzzkill jumped in the chat room right in time for the anal print discussion. Uh, Welcome to Anus Cast. Yes. <laughs> I, before this goes too far in the crapper, I have to drop. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I don't know if next uh, week, but, but have, have fun. John Chichilla, chillatech.net. <laughs> That's me, chill on, chill on the Twitter, John Chill on the Facebook. I'll catch you guys next week. All right. Bye, John. That's what we get for hanging out with uh, or doing Google Meet for too long. Sorry, but they have a lot of fun features in this thing. Um, guys, I need a friend that has movies anywhere so I can I can so you can borrow a, a movie from me. <laughs> so uh, I, I got approved for the Screen Pass on Movie Anywhere. That's the thing where I think up to three time three times a month you can lend a movie to your friend which, uh, again, takes the access from you and your friend can see the movie from your library. By the way, I got a pretty hefty library on movies anywhere. Um, <laughs> basically anything Marvel or DC right now. So that's come out in the last, like, five years. Um, so so I'm looking for a buddy. Krause, Katie, anybody? Anybody? Yeah, you, got, you, got, you, got new, you got new tech over there, Katie. You go, go sign up and uh, send me a friendy thing, right? <laughs> so, um i got all the godzillas uh so in in but um uh anyway so that was fun and uh uh da, 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 what else we got here anything anything you guys want to hit up here from the rundown before we head out i think i got all your stories right Krauss, you got an extra one oh yeah the pew pew the pew pew, yeah, the pew, pew. Riz has <laughs> been sending me pew pew all week Everyone's been sending me pew-pews. It's cool. <laughs> so, yeah, so you can send pew-pew to somebody on an iPhone, and it does magical things. I believe it works. Somebody sent me a pew-pew now, so I can uh, bring it up on the, on, on the iPad, perhaps. Um, it, it works It works on <laughs> iOS devices. Bless you. Bless you. Um, she, uh, she sneezed so hard, she disappeared off the screen. <laughs> I did. I was, trying not to, I was trying to sneeze into my elbow. <laughs> My my elbows over here. Excuse me. Not you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, no, yeah, it's it like vibrates your phone and there's like a crazy light show. This is a thing that they've had for a while, but um, I guess it's making the rounds right now. So. Yeah, and I guess there are a couple other ones that people know about, like celebrate and something else. Oh, I, I know about know. celebrate. Happy birthday. Bring something up. Um, yeah, there's a lot of those. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, no, uh, uh, Professor Buzzkill, we were not talking about the planet. No. I'm, I'm just like late night waiting for the laugh track. Uh, so, <laughs> anyways, um, where are we at here? We can do one more, perhaps, on the way out. Let's see. Smart Toilets, Stadia. Yeah, go check out. It, it's kind of, if you haven't checked out anything streaming like that, it's kind of fun to uh, use your Chrome browser and hop into Stadia, too um it's pretty pretty consistent um i just have a laptop that the screen keeps going every once in a while so that's that's it oh instagram ads got me again this week uh oh okay uh this was a app um uh, that the idea is it's using kind of an ar thing there's these sticks that it comes from it's called toaster pets <laughs> yeah, Toaster Pets cartoons at toasterpets.com. The idea is you are animating by moving objects in real space. So in this this visual here, you have these two sticks that come kind of come out from your iPad, uh, which I think is a spatial camera kind of situation. And as you're moving those objects, they are moving on screen in a 3D animated space. So you can then record the movements of the objects and and again create an animation uh with your very blocky panda bear and uh and dog and cat apparently oh look it's a birthday party oh yay, yay. oh there's a sloth in there too so it, it seems like it seems fairly amiibo a little bit uh the the old nintendo guys but you know it, it, i'm sure there's something that you can collect on these um but yeah that's thank you thank you instagram for knowing me and knowing I need stuff to talk about on the show. <laughs> so, uh, Krause, Katie, have you had a chance to look at this at all? Mm -mm. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. That's incredible. It's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. And an and, and easy way to animate, that's for sure. It's like mocap animation, I guess, right? Like object mocap. So, 
All right. Um. So, Kraus, what have you been up to? How you been coping? I'm okay. You know, I go to work every day and go to sleep and go to work and <laughs> go to sleep. And then I wake up and it's Saturday and Sunday, which, why are the weekends moving so fast? Has anybody else experienced this phenomenon? Is they're kind of the same now? And you're watching you're yeah. watching three Netflix series a week? Uh, no, that's me. That's me. Yeah. Over two days. Yeah. Yeah, because you're just like, oh, that Tiger King and... Um... <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, that that's been happening. It's just that meshing. It's that meshing of of days that's happening, I've noticed. So, uh Crazy Kraus on the Twitter with the K's. Yep, that's me. And of course Katie Dudas at K Dudders on the Twitter and uh something hey, on the... Instagram. There you go. That's where that's where most of the stuff is happening right now. Yeah, I put a lot. It's just it's easier. I don't know. Like I just start like throwing things on Instagram. You you have a very visual life right now. Strangely, yeah. If that makes sense. <laughs> so I, uh, you know, with your 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 visits and stuff. Uh, so um, go check it out. Keep uh, keep up with date with everybody. John Chilla, thanks for uh, hanging out with us. Thank you, chat room, for hanging out as well. Uh, thanks, mom. Thanks, and Professor Buzzkill. Sorry. Yes, producer Missy. Thank you to our other sponsors. Thank you to our yes! other. Thank you to our other sponsors. I yes. didn't miss a read. Uh, we do we have like our sponsors. We do They're have wonderful. a lot going on with Psychic Media Services. Uh, uh, looking for options to help you during your uh, self quarantine. Uh, we are, of course, doing a lot of live stream, helping a lot of people work their way through this. Uh, veterans at doing a wrestling and uh, church services. I actually, had a conversation with the church trying to figure out what the hell they were doing for. Uh, uh, Easter Sunday. That was probably a poor choice of words with that. But, um, <laughs> and uh, teleconferencing. We're, we're, we're helping a few people uh, with some really interesting projects through that. If you need a hand, go check out SidekickMediaServices.com. Help you with your next big thing uh, and be a sidekick to your superhero project. And one of those other projects that we're working with, who mm-hmm. is the other sponsor for the show, is the Jag Off series with musicians and comedians that we do on Wednesdays or Thursdays? Uh, that is Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. I know our friend Aaron Kleiber, who's been on this show, is going to be a part of that. And also, shout out, Aaron Kleiber has a special on Amazon Prime. Go go watch it. Or just leave it on on loop in the background and help him out. I don't care. Just go support him. <laughs> so um, go check that. I think it's called Grown Dad Shit um, is the name of it. Uh, so go t- look up Aaron Kleiber. You'll find it in Grown Dad uh, that that's all I did to get get it over there. So, and we got a lot of other streaming going on. Of course, uh, we're still putting out new episodes of Fishing Without Bait every Tuesday. Just put one out today. Uh, listen to your parents with Matt Carlin's and actually Doug Derrida joined them this past week. Um, that is uh, uh, look for that Facebook page for listening to your parents. And that is Thursdays at 9 p.m. Eastern time. We may have something in the works to cross over some podcasts with that actually. Uh, so stay tuned for that, and you can subscribe to that. Um, over on the Sorgatron Media Master Feed with all the great shows. We're putting out like 10 shows a week, still going. Um, three over the weekend. Broadcast put out a new episode uh, over this weekend. Uh, and, and I actually, you know, it talks about bringing that back in some capacity uh, to help out people these days. And uh, <laughs> my mom says every day is Saturday for me. <laughs> 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 yes she has her dogs she has her she's working from home she's yeah exactly um anyways i don't know uh is there anything else i was supposed to plug i think that's about everything um but no, yeah yeah jag off 7 30 that'll be our next stream coming from well we'll be coming from here but via all over i guess uh so and uh, we'll have some live streams with the wrestling as well uh, game nights on IndieWrestling.us on Fridays. We'll probably do Rocket League. I get you to check in with the guys again and uh, and a lot of our stuff. Hey, if you guys have anything you want to plug on our way out the door? Anybody? No. No? no. Good. No. I'm boring. I'm boring, Sorg. I don't do much oh, anything. Oh, Kraus. You're fine. It's okay. We'll give you something to do on Tuesdays here. So That's it. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you next time. Thank you to our awesome audience. You've been our awesome on- Oh, You've been... A- You've been our awesome audience. We're I'm your awesome audience. No. Awesome out. I don't know.
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.